I have a couple of things to go today that are large, awkward, and one of them that I've had since the very beginning when I started all this. When I first started going to estate sales and collecting stuff to sell, I originally was like, what am I going to do? What'll sell? I didn't think of the fact that it's like, oh, just collect the things I like because then I give a crap about them and I'll try to, you know, sell them more. Or let's put it this way. Most of the stuff that I have here, when I go to ship it, I'm actually kind of like, oh, damn, I have to get rid of that now. But this one in particular, I got it because I think I saw somebody online posted like vintage electronics are the way to go. So I got it and... I don't know why and it finally sold so I got this over a year ago now I think I got it in May of last year so we've got an electronics basket it's actually sort of died down now now there is one thing that's in there that I like this isn't what's sold but it's an old cassette tape now the beauty of this is that uh, I do have a whole thing of cassettes in one of my storage rooms so I've kept this for myself I actually took it off the market because I can play tapes on it in this electronics bag here it's a vintage calculator a Texas Instruments like what does it actually say it is 12 digits two color printing calculator that is the extent of what I know about it is reading off of that I know it's a calculator and I know it's Texas Instruments and I got it going look at that I bet you that will sell this is like an old school like people who just want to do accounting this way sort of thing. I mean, it works. I don't know why I got it. I got it because I thought I'm going to be like, ah, I'm going to be the vintage electronics guy. I guess I could have pursued it if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. And that was the point. I would rather go find vampire plushies, Halloween stuff. That's the, that's the type of thing I like. So, but somebody bought that today. And uh fun part is, is this is going to be, this is going to be maybe either the third or fourth overseas thing that I got. So when I first got it, got the order and I was like, holy crap, somebody bought this. When I uh, was getting ready to pack it up, it said it's going to Kentucky via global shipping. So eBay has a global shipping thing where what you do is you actually just pay to ship it to their global shipping center in like, I think the one I'm shipping it to is in Kentucky. And then they deal with all of the international shipping for it. So this is actually going overseas. So not only did it finally sell, but it sold to someone in another country. Here is one that, again, is large, awkward to sell, or awkward to ship. It's Mr. Rembrandt from Ideal. Now, Ideal is the same company that's done Kerplunk, which I also sold. They did the Archie Bunker doll, which I did in one of my pop culture roadshow things. Ideal is known for making very large toys. Their boxes are huge. I hate shipping them, but they've got like the neatest, most useless toys. Let me set it down here. Mr. Rembrandt is the world's most unusual artist. So it's a game, but it's not really. It's just a robotic machine right there that these markers go into the posts on the robot, it has these different pulleys that it uses. They're called design pallets. And it goes on a sheet of paper. And much like on the box here, you lay down the sheet of paper, it drives around and draws like these little spirographs. And you watch it. You watch it do it. So it's just a robot that you stick markers in and it draws. I mean, that's cool. It's not a game, but it weighs like three pounds. So shipping is going to be a nightmare. It's heavy, so it's going to cost a lot. So this one got sold on Facebook Marketplace and the person messaged me. They were like, I don't really want to put my information into my banking information into Facebook. I would prefer going over PayPal. So we set that up. Uh, or so I was like, okay, fine. Yeah, I can send you my PayPal information. So I did. And they said, well, I would rather get an invoice for it. 
So then I got to learn how to send an invoice through PayPal that they're going to pay. I guess they just wanted the record of it. I think they're going to resell it personally, which is fine. I don't care. I'm, that's what I'm doing. The whole thing is fascinating because it's a weird robot. I'm not quite sure if it works. They were even asking, do you know if it works? And I'm like, I was very upfront with them. I said, first I said about the free shipping and I'm like, okay, but it will cost like $11 to ship. And they're like, that's fine. And they're like, has it ever been used? And I'm like, well, the box is open. It's not unused. And then I said, the markers are dried out, but you could probably replace them with other ones. And I told her I can test if you want. And she said, no, you don't have to. That's fine. I was just curious if you tried using it. So, yeah, but everything, it was like, it was almost like I was trying to stop them from buying it because I was like, okay, but this is that and this is that. And also on Facebook Marketplace, while I was there talking to that person, I got an order for this vintage Little Bear book. I always forget how to say this name. Else Homeland Mineric. Don't try to say words you don't, names you don't know, Tom. And this is a hardcover version of the book from 1957. It was a weird array of stuff that I sold today and I just wanted to share those couple things with you.